Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Liptier20 and welcome to Black Ops 1 Zombies. After weeks of me saying I want to get the game, we finally got it and obviously we're on Kino for our first challenge here. And our first challenge is called the Box Roulette Challenge. Now, basically what it means is at the start of every single round, we have to hit the mystery box and get a brand new gun. Now, Kino is one of those maps where it's kind of hard to tell where the box is going to be. So, every single round we're going to buy a brand new gun off of the wall. Up until the point where we make it through the box, obviously. But man, it has been so long since I last played Kino, or Black Ops 1 in general. I think the last time I actually played was like 2020, 2021. But like, I remember playing this when I was younger on my uh, cousin's PlayStation or my uncle's Xbox, where I was with at the time. But like, I remember playing like mainly on Kino and Ascension. Don't get me wrong, I love like Moon and Call of the Dead as well. And five a little bit more so with friends or like other people and like shangri-la it it definitely exists i really don't like shangri-la it's not my favorite map i don't know it's just it just doesn't flow well in my opinion compared to the other ones but like yeah i mainly play it on kino ascension top two favorite maps there out of black ops one but like i have like a lot of nostalgia going through me right now like i remember going over here i would always knife this little like fuse box and just Give it a good few knives here and there. I would also throw a grenade like this and just wait for it to kind of blow up a little bit and see if the uh, little hinge thing stays on. If it does, I just knife it a few more times and then eventually, there we go, falls off like that. But I feel like almost everybody has done that on Kino, as well as like dolphin diving from the uh, top of the stairs here. Or if you're playing with like other people and they're brand new, what you would do is like have them go into a corner and just be like, okay, stay there, lay down, lay prone and you would dolphin dive on top of them and just kill them right then and there. Because, like, they had it where the hitboxes, they collided with each other. They just instant down. Like, I remember multiple people trying to get me to do it over and over and over again, like, trying to trick me. And after the first time, I was like, nuh uh, you're not kidding me this time. All right, no box here, no box down there. Uh, let me buy you. You're a bad gun. I remember this gun sucks. But there isn't a lot we can do. We have to keep on moving forward, you know? Ah, still no box. I was hoping it was going to be down here. Is it through here? No. Okay. But man, I remember being so afraid of the Hellhounds. I think it will be next round or round six. But I remember being so afraid of them. I think everybody was when you were younger. Like, if you were like a teenager to you young adult, you weren't really that afraid. Even an adult, obviously. But around that age, you weren't so much. But a lot of us did start when we were like... 10 years old or something like that but like yeah it's just oh, i love this game i love zombies like it's been a huge part of my life and like to just kind of go back through and make content kind of like how some of my favorite youtubers used to do back in the day it's just i don't know it awakens like a child in me that's just so happy with glee but like man it's so crazy to think like 10 years ago well more than 10 years ago now i was playing this game and here i am now just playing it again like, it kind of feels weird with how much time has passed since this first came out. And it kind of sucks, because, like, I remember Black Ops 2 being so in love with that game. And now it's 12 years old. Not a lot of people play it, sadly. Black Ops 3 itself is about to be 10 years old next year, and I'm afraid for that. I'm not gonna lie. Because, like, I don't know. Black Ops 3 still feels really modern to me. Personally, me, I say this kind of a lot on this channel. I hope they make Black Ops 2, like, a remaster for, uh this year or next year but i'm mainly saying that because you know black house 2 takes place in 2025 now if they do do that i will gladly grind out like the knife because the knife sucked a little bit in that game in my opinion because you didn't really lunge into enemies too much you kind of just slap them with a butter knife and i remember spending so much time trying to get that gold like so many sessions on 24 7 nuketown uh there's a double points back there no 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 oh i was trying to get out of there all right um we might have to go through the doors itself i could probably try to go for the double points nah some zombies are blocking it yeah no that would be a bad idea to go through there ah still no box all right um, I'm gonna try to get some points then, and then I guess we'll end off the round here soon. Hopefully the box is not somewhere stupid. Well, there's only like three other spots it can be now, but still. Oh, I guess it is in the theater. I didn't even see the light from it. Well, let me hit the box then. This is our first box hit here. Hopefully it's good. And ooh, the RPK. I love the RPK. 
This was like the gun I always went for when I was younger. Oh, I'm sorry. That's just like awoken a kid in me that just loved playing this game with the RPK and like Thunder Gun. And I just, I would always run that combo every single time. At least try to. Man, I remember trying to train back then when I was younger and I sucked at it. Like I was really bad. I also remember playing on the Wii version of this game. Like I remember uh, the AUG being down there, like where the... Uh, little turret is that was always so weird to uh find whenever i played on the wii because it's like i don't know it feels out of place but also feels really right to be there and i'm not gonna lie i kind of wish they had that on the other versions oh ballista knife oh no 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 oh i don't want this but well, we gotta go with it we gotta go with it man we're gonna need to get juggernaut here soon um, not certain how I'm supposed to do that without dying, but we're gonna figure it out. I will say, I do love the fact that they fixed the ballistic knife in the- Oh, god damn it. I was gonna say, fix the ballistic knife in Black Ops 2, where you can just walk over to zombies and pick up the knife, rather than just going over, hold F, and have to re-pick it up that way. But I'm gonna go by Juggernaut now, since we have- Nope! Okay. Ooh, that could have been bad. Oh god, wow, I hate the Nova Crawlers, but thank god they don't, uh, they don't do full swings. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna buy the, uh, what do you say? I'm gonna buy the Bowie knife. I can pair it up with the Ballistic knife. Was that our second down? I can't remember if we went down before. I think we did. Man, I love the Bowie knife. It is helping out so much right here. I'm not gonna lie. All right, yeah, we're on our last quick revive right now, so we gotta be very careful. But let me hit the box once more, see what gun we get, because it is the start of a new round. And monkey bombs. All right, that does not count, but we will use you. I think it's like four. Yeah, four. Kobe. Okay, Spaz, it's been a while since I used you. Now I remember always trying to do the uh, Hellhound glitch around here, where you're still on the staircase, and they just they just don't attack you for some reason. And obviously that's something within the coding, where they just think they're about to hit you, but it's like an invisible wall. But like, it's so fun to do it, even nowadays. Like, I'll try to do it once we get jugged, because I don't want to do it when we're not uh, well prepared. Uh, we're going to have to stick with our ballistic knife, or not ballistic knife, our uh, bow knife because we are out of ammo but we can hit the box once more again so let me see what gun we get this time and oh okay yeah i'll take that but let me see if i can line myself up it's like you hang off just a teensy bit here i think and did we do it correctly yeah we did man it's been so long since i've done that no i think i just remembered on the wii version you can reload the thunder gun without having it be like completely empty if i remember correctly i can't it's kind of a little blurry here and there oh my god not again i need juggernaut that's the main thing i need i wonder if we can kill the zombies in one shot since we had the ballistic knives with the bowie knife but probably yeah no it is at least a little faster than using a normal bowie knife oh god no 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 God, it's so dangerous trying to, uh... God, no, 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 It's so dangerous trying to knife. I hate this. I may need to go for the little crawlers here, but, uh... Kind of difficult to do that with a horde of zombies behind me. Oh, wait, we got the monkey bombs. We have, uh, some more here. I'm gonna throw one. And I'm gonna go hit the juggernaut machine. See, we need ends to kill now. That would be really useful. You know, I have no clue how we're, like, surviving all of this. I feel like we should have died. All right. Brand new round. I think the box is gonna disappear after this spin. So, let me see. Oh my god, we got a thunder gun again. Yes, please. As long as we keep on getting good luck like that, I'm fine with that. All right, so I do have to ask you guys. What is your favorite weapon? Not wonder weapon, but favorite weapon from zombies. Because I have a few personally, like from Black Ops 1, I love the AUG. I think the Commando is also really good. But I also do love like the Python slash Remington new model. Kind of the same gun in general. But I also do love the KSG, but like, ooh, I actually don't like this gun whatsoever. But like, I love those guns mainly like myself. So I just want to know, what's your guys' favorite gun? Or like, if you have anything else you want to talk about zombies wise, just leave it in the comment section below. I'm going to buy Speed Cola here, or no, we don't have enough points. I don't know why I was trying to buy it then. Man, I really do not like the G11. This is actually my like least favorite gun, or like one of my least favorites. Just the damage sucks. Fire rate sucks. Ammo, actually pretty good. But just this gun in general, I hate it. But now I can finally buy Speed Cola. I probably should have waited a little bit just in case we have the uh, box move and it's kind of like in the alleyway or something like that, but I think we should be fine. All right, now the box has to move. We've hit it like seven, eight times at this point. 
Yeah, there we go. To make sure I don't kill any hellhounds by accident, I'll just run around with my pistol. Gotta be careful of that hellhound there. Hopefully the box lands in a good spot. Ah, oh, it's back the way we came from. Ooh, we got the ray gun. Oh, but we're gonna have to get rid of it after this round. Damn it. You know, I do miss the fact that in uh, Black Ops 1, the hellhounds kind of like lean over and die. But in Black Ops 3, they just kaput, just explode. I kind of miss that. I don't know why. I just kind of miss the uh, fact that in Black Ops 1, they did that. All right, it's time for me to get rid of the ray gun. I can't keep it, sadly. Hopefully we still get a pretty good gun and FAO. Okay, I actually like the FAO. I know a lot of people would disagree with me on that one, but eh, I don't care. You know, I will have to say, one thing I really miss about zombies was, like, the theories behind certain things. Like, on Black Ops 1, people made a theory like, oh, if you shoot the uh, little electrical box near the quick revive machine or something like that, it makes the zombies harder. Or like, hey, if you use Marlton to build a shield, it makes it stronger or something like that, you know? And like, all of those were fake, but still, I really miss those like days where people were like kind of gullible to that stuff. And, like, I remember believing some of that when I was younger, and then after a little while, like, seeing people test those theories and whatnot, it was like, well, no, it's really false to actually say that happens. And, like, don't get me wrong, it kind of sucked some of them were false, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad that they were proven false, because I really hated being that one person being like, hey... I just want to build a shield and you had that one other person going like, nope, nope, I have to build it. I'm going to build it right here because it will make it stronger or we'll be able to run faster or something like that, you know? Oh, he got the crossbow. That's not good. But I also remember people theorizing the, uh, the little sign there, beware of the six right there. Like people were like, oh, it's for the hellhounds or something like that. But in reality, it's just for the uh, Nova six gas. You know, I may have not liked the crossbow when I was younger, but I can appreciate it now. Especially when you pack a punch it, it becomes like a mini monkey bomb. I can respect it, you know? Is it still a good gun? No, absolutely not. Far from it, but I can still respect it. I am trying to save my points a little bit, though, for, like, if we run out of ammo, we can pack a punch. Because I will have to do it with this crossbow. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Okay. That could have been bad. But here we go. Our first pack a punch. Hopefully our last, but I feel like we're going to have to do that with a lot of guns in the future. And I think that's the last. Nope, we still got one more somewhere. I think he's running back to the spawn area. There you are, buddy. Take that little arrow, and we go and buy a brand new gun. Please be good. Please be good. I don't want anything bad. And, okay, spaz again. I'll take it. Now, I know it'll be a little useless, but I'm going to go by double tap. Just so that way we have a slightly faster fire rate. Which I know people will be like, oh, you'll just waste your ammo. It makes you waste your ammo. I don't see it. You just kill the zombies faster. Like, in reality, that's all it is. You just kill the zombies faster. You use the same amount of ammo, same amount of bullets it would take to kill them. Just, it's much faster. You only waste your ammo if you, like, completely miss. Alright, we are definitely gonna need to pack a punch. Uh, let me throw a monkey bomb here. And I'm gonna throw a second one so that way we can get out of here a little more. You know, I think we can probably get by with one more monkey bomb, maybe. Let's see. Hopefully that kills all the zombies. And no, we got one more. I'm just gonna knife you. Alright, please be good. Please be good. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? The law, the law is not that bad. And it's Hellhound. Okay, we're good. We're good. Whew. If it wasn't Hellhound, we might have a little problem here, but we're good. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm still embarrassed on the fact that we went down twice already. And, like, we're doing a lot better now. And we're, like, going through with random weapons. Like, we shouldn't be doing this well. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wonder what some maps would be like if it had, like, other perks that came out after it. Like, if Kino had PhD, for example. Because, like, I feel like it would make some things easier, obviously. But, like, also some things probably a little harder. Ooh, FAMAS. Ooh, we got a fire sale. Not really useful, but hey, we got it. Oh, God, we're trapped. We're trapped. No. Oh, I was trying to buy the door. Oh, that really sucks. That means if we go down, we're down for, uh, well, for good, obviously. All right, we need to make our way to the little juggernaut machine. Oh, we're out of ammo as well. Okay. All right, we're going to go pack a punch. Oh, we already linked it over here. Let's go link it in the middle. Oh, uh, I don't think we're going to make it through that. Yeah, no, we got to go the long way. Or actually, hang on. We might be able to make it if we do a little shimmy, shimmy, shimmy right here. Not a fan of this method as we get our ankles bit in. But hey, we're doing pretty good so far. We're actually on round 20, which is actually a lot further than what I believe we would have made it to. Because I thought we were making it like... Round 15 at least. Or at most, I meant to say. You know, I don't think I really pack punch the FAMAS too often. I don't really use a lot of guns I don't like. I always go for, like, the same, like, 
three, depending on the uh, map. And obviously the game where it's like Black Ops 1, 2, 3, etc. Oh, hey, we're in the uh, teddy bear room where it's a little demonic there. Hello, teddy. I do wish that in Black Ops 1, they did have the double tap 2.0. Because it would make things a lot easier when it comes to killing zombies. Alright, let's go and hit the mystery box. I do need to buy the rest of my perks. I need speed and double tap again. God damn it. But yeah, I need speed and double tap. But I think I will have to, uh, well, pack a punch again here. That's if I survive at least. Because I don't think we're going to make it too much longer with the wall. Now, I will have to say, out of every zombie crew member, Nikolai has to be, like, my most favorite. And I will say, I like Primus a lot more than Ultimus. But Ultimus always has my heart as well. You know, we actually might be good to finish up the round with just the law here. Maybe not, though, since the zombies are still spawning in. I thought we were at the end of the round there. Uh-oh. We are red screen. Okay, I'm gonna try to not be red screen. There we go. That's a lot better. I would have to say, I do hate training on the stage. Because, like, moments like this where I had to jump straight into a horde of zombies. Because, like, any mistake... You're dead. Ah, oh, there you go. We don't have to waste a lot of points on Pack-A-Punch here. Alright, let's go and hit the box. I'm gonna try not to die here since this is the start of the round. Alright, we got the CZ-75. This will not be a good gun to stay with on Pack-A-Punch wise. Even if we had the dual version, it wouldn't have been good, but... This is definitely not good on its own. I will definitely have to pack a bunch this one. I just want to use a little bit of the ammo here. Try to get some points. Or I might die. I'm going to go pack a punch right now. So that way I don't. That could have been a real close one right there. I think I may have only pack a punched this gun like once ever in my life. So it's kind of weird to uh, pack a punch it. There's like a lot of guns I've never pack a punch or really used. I'm going to be honest. Now that's not to say they're like bad guns, but like... They're also bad guns to me, so... At the very least, this is a lot better pack-a-punch, so... Gotta take what we gotta get. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 Oh, I thought we made it out of there. Oh, I hate when it's that, like, few seconds where you're dead, but you're kind of just, like, slithering through. Ah. Uh, you know what? 22. 22 rounds. First time playing, like, Black Ops 1 in a long time. As well as the fact that it's, like, a box roulette challenge. That is really good, not gonna lie. Ah, alright. Well, I'm gonna have to, obviously, end off the episode there. So, if you guys did like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any challenges, uh, let me, uh... Well, I guess I'll play a little bit more while I'm at it. But if you guys have any other challenges or any, like, map recommendations, whatever. You know, custom zombies map, non-custom zombies map. If it's custom, I prefer Black Ops 3, personally. But anything you want to leave, just leave it in the comment section down below. And I guess with that out of the way, this has been Lifted20, signing off. Bye-bye.